Doctor, I've been feeling awful. I've had a terrible headache for days and my stomach is killing me. I feel weak and dizzy and I can't seem to shake this fever. The doctor with a reassuring smile gestured for her to sit down. It's been about a week. It started with a mild fever and this nagging headache. Then came the stomach cramps and diarrhea. I thought it was just a bug, but it's only gotten worse. The doctor, suspecting the culprit behind her misery, asked her a few more questions. No, I haven't traveled abroad recently, but I did eat out a few times last week. Could that be it? The doctor nodded thoughtfully, already piecing together the clues. Based on your symptoms and recent travels, the doctor began, his voice gentle yet firm. I suspect you might have typhoid fever. This is a condition that we often see in individuals who have traveled to areas where the disease is more common. The patient's eyes widened in alarm, the name alone conjuring up images of a debilitating illness. She had heard stories of people suffering greatly from it. Typhoid fever, he continued, is a bacterial infection caused by Salmonella typhi. This bacterium is typically spread through contaminated food and water. It's a serious condition, but with prompt diagnosis and treatment, we can get you back on your feet in no time. The key is to start treatment early to avoid complications. Seeing the fear in his patient's eyes, the doctor quickly reassured her. He knew that understanding the illness was the first step in alleviating her anxiety. Don't worry, he said, we'll run some tests to confirm the diagnosis. These tests will help us determine the best course of action for your treatment. But first, let me explain a bit more about typhoid so you can understand what we're dealing with. Typhoid fever can cause high fever, weakness, stomach pains, headache, and loss of appetite. The patient, still apprehensive, nodded slowly, eager to learn more about this illness that had brought her to the doctor's office. She wanted to know everything she could to fight it effectively. The doctor continued, explaining that, with proper antibiotics, most people start to feel better within a few days. However, it's crucial to complete the entire course of medication to ensure the bacteria are fully eradicated. The patient felt a glimmer of hope. She realized that with the doctor's guidance and the right treatment, she could overcome this illness. With a plan in place and a better understanding of what lay ahead, she felt more confident. The journey to recovery had begun and she was ready to face it head on.